Uh, next, uh, perpetuity. What is the concept of perpetuity? Uh, it is a type of annuity in which the periodic payment extend forever or continue indefinitely. So here is the cash flow diagram. So you can see, uh, same as uh, on the first parts, ordinary, uh, although it is a continuous uh, at, a cert, at an indefinite time. So as we have said, no, no examples have been set to this perpetuity since the formula is straightforward. Uh, future worth is actually an infinite value of money. And then uh, this one, for the present amount, just uh, know the amortization amount, uh, the amount of amortization, and then divide it by the interest. Uh, you can now have the present worth. So very straightforward, P is equivalent to A over I in comparison to annuity due, deferred annuity, and then ordinary annuity. So again, the concept of ordinary annuity is made at the end. Deferred is made later. Annuity due is made at the beginning. And uh, now we are now ready to proceed on our first sample problem, uh, wherein we are asked to uh, find what is the present worth. So what is the present worth of a three-year annually paying 3,000 uh, pesos at the end of each year with interest of 8 at 8% 8 compounded annually? So... Uh, how do you how can you know if the problem itself is a problem under annuity so you can notice the following terms annually paying yeah? so from that uh, from that uh, term alone you could recognize that it pays at, a, at an equal interval of time not yeah? um at the same amount uh, amount in money and then at the same amount of time so from this uh, term alone so therefore uh, we are now to choose under the four types of annuity. Now, uh, on the first type of annuity, which is an ordinary annuity, the main concept is at the end. Huh? If you try to remember again and then review the types of annuity. So basically, based on this term, end of each year, meaning we will be using the ordinary annuity formula. Huh? So that's it. Now, this is the ordinary for uh, in uh, ordinary annuity formula and then this is our underlying cash flow diagram a very straightforward again to uh, to draw so as you can see what is the present worth and an unknown value three year annually paying first year paid second and then third you are asked to find for the present value that uh, explains the following dash arrow here on our cash flow diagram and then just sub, uh, just substitute uh, what is on the uh, problem itself? Annuity as 3,000, 1 plus um, 8 percent, 0 0.08. As you can see, it is not uh, um, under mode of compounding concept. However, on our sample problem number uh, 3, for you to have an understanding if, for example, uh, it has a mode of compounding. No? So uh, there is an example for that. For a different rate, so basically it is annually. So no need to change or divide this N or multiply something and then divide I with something. So just substitute 8% or equivalent to 0 0.08 raised to 3, number of periods, minus 1 and so on. So the present worth is 7,731.29. Now for our second sample problem, so you will uh, notice here, we are asked to find the annual payment. Uh, basically, uh, a man loans uh, 187,400 from a bank with interest at 5% compounded annually. He agrees to pay his obligations by paying eight equal annual payments, uh, the first being due at the end of 10 years. Now let us analyze the problem itself. Uh, so is this a problem under annuity? So ask yourself that. Uh, so basically, it is a problem of annuity since based on these uh, statements. Uh, equal, uh, so meaning the same amount of money at annual payments. Annual meaning the same time. So this is a problem of annuity. Now, let us now decide if it is an ordinary annuity due, deferred annuity, or perpetuity. Uh, even though there is a term here, end, uh, it doesn't necessarily count uh, directly to ordinary annuity. Uh, 
So an- analyze first this 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 statement, no? So the first being due at the end of 10 years. So meaning from this statement alone, uh, it signifies that we will pay our un- our annuity or our amortization of these eight equal annual payments after this term, after 10 years. So we will start paying at 10 years. No? So um, that means that we will not start at the first year. Instead, we will start at the at 10 years, meaning we will start at a later time. So therefore, we will be using annuity due. So as we have uh, said uh, earlier, you will not use uh, directly you know, the formula under uh, deferred or un- under annuity due. You can verify uh, on your own, uh, you know, kindly work on it and verify the concept under it, this one, you know, the deferred annuity concept. You know? So under deferred annuity, uh, where payment is uh, made later, this one is our underlying equation or formula. You can verify if uh, directly just substitute uh, certain values, no, and then uh, confirm if our solution is actually um, the same or correct. No? So uh, that serves as your assignment to that. No? So in this case, uh, just for the sake of reinforcing what we have said a while back, that <clears throat> that the only formula that is required for you to actually memorize is the concept under ordinary annuity, and then try to work. Uh, on your way you know, to solve uh, what is required on this problem, which is the deferred annuity. Now, uh, working on the formula of ordinary annuity. You know? So look at this. This is a formula for ordinary annuity. Allow me to review again. So ordinary annuity, here is it. The deferred annuity has the difference is this one. No? It is an M plus N instead of just N. Uh, you will notice. Now, <laughs> applying that one, this one is a formula for ordinary interest. <clears throat> so we are asked to find the annual payment. So A, we are asked to find what is the amortization. So basically from this uh, cash flow diagram, uh, let us analyze first how can we arrive at this cash flow diagram? So the up arrow represent what we have earned. And then uh, that means that a man loans uh, 187,400 means that this man owns uh, an amount which is designated as this one. And then uh, the amortization, since we are uh, not owning or uh, giving, since we are paying, that means it will become a downward arrow as just designated in this form. And then as you can see, we have started our annual payment based on this statement. The first being due at the end of 10 years. So meaning we will start at 10 years. So although it is uh, at the end of 10 years, no, stated as that, so uh, we have started at a period of zero. So basically, it also no. Uh, we we can say that this uh, cash flow diagram is actually uh, the same as the end of ten years. So our first annuity now is at ten. No, as you can see here. So after eight equal payments, count uh, plus eight, so that will become uh, eighteen terms, and then. We are asked to find for the annual payment. So how can we uh, do that? Uh, so two-step solution. The first step is actually to consider that P2 or our present word 2 is actually 187,400 initially. Now, uh, the main concept, as you can see, is just to you know, point all of our, uh, pre- or our money in one reference time. So in this example, we point our, our money at a present uh, uh, reference time just as shown in this uh, figure. Uh, so basically, uh, the concept is that we will have to solve for the 
present worth of all of this annuity. And then uh, from that, this now will become our future amount. And then we can now solve for P2 and then equate that one. No? So what we have solved on these uh, scenarios, first step and then second step, equate what we have we already have no, sa, and then P2 and then we can now solve for A. So actually, it is uh, quite uh, complicated uh, to say. So allow me to continue in our uh, discussions here. Now, uh, continuing with this one, P1, accumulating all of this annuity, what is the uh, value of this annuity at point one? Just consider using the ordinary uh, annuity formula. Consider this form, it is the same as ordinary uh, annuity. No? And then um, after that, uh, solving for the following, no? simplifying this term, no? yields to 6.643a uh, or the annuity itself. No? So as we have said, P1 will now become future amount as solved for P2. No? So... With that being said, use the following compounding formula on our principle, on our past uh, presentations. And then aside from that, computing again for the present word, uh, cross multiplication. And then uh, from that, this P1 now will become our future word. And then, as you can see, we can now equate P2 here. Yeah. So in that case, we can now solve for A. So you can use your uh, calculator to solve for A. No? Uh, concept, uh, simple uh, uh, multiplication here. And then uh, uh, divide by 6.643. Uh, no? And then uh, we will arrive at 43,763.20. So that's uh, the annual payment no? if you want to uh, compute with the following uh, terms and condition to a bank. No? So basically, you would argue on the bank that after uh, 10 years, no? so this would be your annual payment. 